Hello, I'm Richard Ridge. We're at the Hudson Theater for the 2011 New York Musical Theater Festival Gala, where they're honoring one of the most successful producing teams of Craig Zaden and Neil Marin, who are represented this season on Broadway with the hit revival of How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying and the upcoming NBC series, Smash. Their award was presented to them by their How to Succeed star, Daniel Radcliffe. These two men, due to their boundless passion and belief in their projects, are responsible for bridging the gap between theatre and mainstream entertainment with films such as Hairspray and Chicago, telepictures like A Raisin in the Sun, Gypsy, The Music Man and Life with Judy Garland, and of course Broadway shows such as Promises, Promises and the completely hilarious, still very timely and excellent <laughs> <laughs> They have gathered together a band of acclaimed theatre artists to give the na a national television audience a glimpse of what it takes to put on a Broadway show, and won't that be relaxing for them? Um, I, I, I first met Craig and Neil when I was doing Equus, and they saw something in my deranged, psychotic singing of the Milky Bar theme tune at Richard Griffiths that inspired them to invite me to do a musical. And I, I you know, they had throughout the process so much more belief in me than I ever had in myself. Um, and I want to use this opportunity to thank them personally for giving me what has been really the most amazing year of my life so far. Um, so thank you for that. And on behalf of the New York Musical Theatre Festival, I'm thrilled to present Neil and Craig with NIMP's 2011 Award for Excellence. Neil and Craig are being honored by the NIMP Festival. Tell me what it's working with these two wonderful producers. I'm, I mean, they are... Uh they're, the, they're the, the top of the top. I mean, when I saw that they were the executive producers on this, uh, this project, I immediately knew that I was in not only safe hands, but um, incredibly talented hands. So I'm, I'm thrilled to be part of their, their next project. And Christian, for you? They love it so much, and they're so lovely to everybody. I mean, it's true that they are just so passionate about this particular topic, particularly with Smash. But to see their work with How to Succeed was fantastic. I thought it was great. I'm very proud of them. I mean, we, we laugh every day. We get to say the most incredibly nuanced words. Our writers are incredible. And there's singing and there's dancing. And we have a cast of just brilliant human beings on top of being great, great talents. I mean. And it's, the writing is fantastic. It's about a bunch of passionate people who are passionate about theater. And being from the theater, I, it's a thrill to actually kind of really show the world what it's all about, who these people are. We've, we've had a lot of behind the scenes of movie making and television making, but there hasn't been a whole lot of behind the scenes of, of Broadway. And so much of the country, and so much of our country's history is, comes from the stage, and, and people still love Broadway and musicals and plays. And I think it's so fun to bring light to what what goes on and what happens uh, behind the scenes of putting on a show. The show's going great. Um, it's, we're sort of in an odd, an odd situation where we nobody sees the show. We're, we're on like episode eight or seven, seven or eight, and no one has seen anything yet. So other than like the few clips of the pilot and stuff, but we'll, we're getting there. In a couple more months we'll be um, airing and premiering, and it's, it's just really exciting. We did our photo shoots for the billboards and stuff and I'm just I'm just so thrilled and thrilled to be a part of such an amazing cast and amazing producers like Neil and they're a dream team it's like everything they touch turns to gold and it's because they're really nice on top of uh, on top of having uh, ex exquisite taste so we're very lucky to work with them. It's, it's so fantastic to be around producers who care so much about the project. You know, they're with us on set every day. They're around the actors. They care about their actors. And that means a lot and makes for better work, I think. We've got such a fantastic cast on the show. You know, to be around so much music and original music is a wonderful thing. And also the drama in the show, too. It's taking us to different places, and we hope the audience will love that. We really do. And you're filming all through New York? Yes. Yeah, it's like one of the major characters in the show, I think. Um, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, and uh, like you get to see the Empire State Building yeah. and Times Square is... And these girls walking down the street in yeah. New York as well, of course, <laughs> making it look even more beautiful, of course. So, it's yeah. amazing working for them. I tell you, it is amazing. They are terrific producers. They are present every minute of every day for every decision that you would want. They support you artistically and help you out. And their suggestions are amazing. I love working with them. I'd work with them anytime. Dan for that 
great introduction, and uh, he's given us a lot too, because uh, How to Succeed was actually the first Broadway show I ever saw. So, I, I mean, it's kind of come full circle. And ironically, it was the first Broadway show that Craig ever saw. So, the idea that we're presenting it now with Dan, and, and it's actually kind of significant the fact that Dan, because of Dan, he's bringing in a lot of young people that have never been exposed to musicals or to theater before. And I think that... kind of fostered a new generation of musical lovers that will see the shows that you guys are kind of creating. And, you know, it was kind of odd when we were first approached about this, and I said, a Lifetime Achievement Award for um, an organization that does new musicals when we've never done new musicals, when we've never done revivals and stuff. But, you know, it was explained to us that because of our work, that we've exposed this genre to people that have fallen in love with it like, like we've fallen in love with it. And that means that they're going to want to see more of it and they're going to want to see more new musicals. And, and the other irony is that at the present time we're doing this TV show called Smash. Great Teresa Rebeck, and I had chosen her DNA, and of course, directed by Michael Mayer, another And uh, you know, and we are very grateful that the cast is here: Deborah Messing, Angelica Houston, Jack Davenport, Rosie Jeffrey, Megan Hurley, Kristen Ball, Jamie Zafiro. I mean, it shows unbelievable support, and, and it's very, very touching. And uh, it just reminds me of. With the line that Teresa wrote in the pilot, I, Deborah Messing and Christian Ball kind of play a latter day uh, Betty Compton and Adolph Green. And, uh, you know, uh, Christian comes back from a trip to London and, and he's discussing with, with Deborah about a revival of My Fair Lady. And Deborah says in that scene written by Teresa, why isn't anybody doing new musicals, <laughs> new books, new scores? And that's what we hope that uh, Smash accomplishes, just in terms of the idea that there is great work to be had and there's a continuation of the love of musical with shows like Smash and all the work that you guys do. So thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I, I do have to add that uh, we have had the most intense emotional love affair in the last year with Daniel Radcliffe. Um, you know, we have never met. When we started this process, Dan was 20. He's now 22. It's, it's been the most remarkable experience. We've never met an actor who was so dedicated and hardworking and passionate and such a leader and somebody that was relentless in perfection. I mean, he just would not stop rehearsing. And the whole experience of working with him each day has sort of made us kind of sad that in eight weeks from today he's leaving and, and he'll be gone, but he'll never ever be gone in our hearts because we, we adore him. Thank you so much for me. so much to the New York Musical Theater Festival. It's an amazing organization and an organization that's really necessary and important because, you know, we got our start, a lot of people don't know this, but we got our start in the theater working for Joseph Papp at the Public Theater. And we started at the New York Shakespeare Festival. And Joe was our mentor. He was our father figure. He was the man that taught us everything about how to work with actors how to work with writers, how to work with directors, and everything that we now know when we work on a movie, a TV show, or a show on Broadway, we know because of Joe, and we owe him our careers and our vision because he gave us his vision, and we'll always be grateful for him.
we, we went to Hollywood uh, to do movie musicals, and every studio threw us out. I mean, they literally kicked us out. First they laughed at us, and then they kicked us out. Um, nobody had any interest in doing musicals in, in Hollywood at all. They said they were passé, it was over, that era had come and gone. And we just kept going back and going back and going back. And I think we just wore them down. I think that uh, they got so tired of saying no, they finally said yes. And uh, we, we established a foothold in television in doing movie musicals, which then led to doing Chicago and Hairspray as a big screen entertainment. So we came back to Broadway after all of that, and we realized that the theater in New York has changed a great deal since we were here last. First of all, we didn't really know about the chat rooms. I know we somebody in one is, but but we, we and, and, uh, but we did have some good teachers. We had some really great teachers. We had uh, Joe Mahoda, our brilliant agent from CAA. We had uh, Rob Ashford, our director, choreographer, and promises, promises, and how to succeed. And we had Beth Williams and John Gore from Broadway Cross America. And somehow, the whole theater experience with the movie experience and the TV experience has meshed, and we now have this project called Smash. And I, I promise you that if you tune in on February 6th, you're going to see something that we've all dreamed of in our life, but never really expected to happen. And it's because of Bob Greenblatt, the new chairman of NBC, who believed in this so passionately. And because of Steven Spielberg, who thought of the original notion of doing this, and made that call to us that day and said, come join me and let's, let's do something that's a little daring and risky, but let's, let's go for it. And of course, Teresa Reback, who gave the show a voice, and Michael Mayer, who gave it a vision, and Mark Shaman and Scott Whitman, who are writing brand new songs every week for this show. And a young choreographer that we found, Josh Burgas, who's, who's a discovery of Michael Mayer's. Uh, and he is extraordinary, and he will now have an amazing career. We now are hiring actors, dancers, everyone from the Broadway community. And this is the first time that I've ever seen this happen. And we are praying that people watch, we are praying that people support it, and we are hoping that you derive as much joy from the show as we all have.